Say kindness, goodness. Don't have kindness in your heart. Amen. Don't have goodness in your heart. You don't show love to one another. You don't you don't want to give, you don't have that kindness. Somebody is dying. You don't have that feeling of to help him or her. Then today, God will help you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say faithfulness. Faithfulness. Amen. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Amen. Self-control. Hallelujah. Self-control is things that is killing many of us. Amen. Self-control is very, very what important as a Christian. Self-control. Say, no, the era you can speak. No, the era you cannot speak. Amen. Then this one come up for every one of us. Few people that have that spirit of calm. Amen. Somebody do something before you know what you have, before you open your mouth to speak. The anger already come in you. Because that love is not there. That joy is not there. That peace is not there. You see yourself, everything is angry. Amen. But I pray today, this prayer today will change our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now we have that self-control we have been looking for in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's not only, only the house of God, also hope. Amen. You don't have self-control, you sort your husband. You don't have self-control, you sort anybody around you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I tell God this ministry has declared, keep your hope, true love. And I pray to this program is coming next week. Please, if you are watching us, our program is coming next week. Keep your hope. I did not know that this will come out. I will end up to ask questions. It's a question and answer. How do we deal with this self control? Amen. It's not good for a wife to insult your, your head, your husband. Amen. It's not good for God to allow you to self control. But I pray today, God will give us. That spirit to control ourselves in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say against shows there is no no law where you have to wear the fruit of the spirit. Amen. If you don't have this spirit, the spirit of God cannot use you. That spirit of law we are looking for cannot use you if you don't have this spirit. I just mentioned. Please search yourself. In any way you have been lacking, whatever I just mentioned here today. And I hope as our prayer is coming, God. We grant everything to you in the name of Jesus. Say manifest, say manifestation in you. You will, you will notice that you do not act the way you do before. Do God's word say, Amen. Say you don't have the spirit, the spirit of God in you. Say but today when you pray, Almighty God, that love you are speaking for, that peace, that love for me, that faithfulness. That gentleman, that self control, God will help us today in the name of Jesus. If we are Bible, let us open to Matthew. Amen. Our first week today is going to be what? Matthew. Amen. I'm going to take it slowly, slowly. Matthew 7. I'm going to take it for what? Verse 16 of it. Amen. Open your Bible to Matthew, Matthew 7. I'm going to start what the 16 of feet. I'm going to take it one by one. So that we get the message very well. I'm going to start on it and also pray. Almighty God, to grant us the spirit of peace, of love, of self-control in the name of Jesus. If you are there, you can read. Amen. Verse 15 or 16. Verse 16. He said, Ye shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns or trees of testless? Continue. Even so, every good tree beareth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree for evil Amen. You see what Baba is talking today. If you don't have that, that spirit or this fruit of the spirit in you, if you don't have that love in you, if you don't have that patience in you, if you don't have that joy in you, all these things is coming out. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, 
Every good tree, hear what? Fought good food. Say, the corrupt tree, what? Also, hear what? Evil tree. I don't know the evil you are bearing or the good or not. Say, everyone that good, the word is going to come up with much on he or her is going to be what? Good word. Amen. And also, somebody that is also corrupt, whatever is going to come up for that brother or for that sister, what's also what's going to be corrupt? You. Amen. Praise the Lord. Say, 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 we go with those who is standing by the truth, not by the what? The evil one. Amen. So we would like to hear evil word. We would like to hear good word. It's me and you. Your choice is yours. So I'm going to be with those who is saying the truth or I'm going to be with those who say what? Bad. Say the choice is yours. So anyone that made good food to me, say he, he will do what? He will get that love, that joy, that peace, that lost coffee, that kind, that, that, that self control. You will have it in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know the food you have been bearing before, but you don't know you are very bad food. Some people don't know what are very bad food. Or you come to realize and say, ah, all this thing I'm doing is not good. It's not only the house of God. In your home, in your working place, who food are you presenting to your husband, to your children, to your wife, to your friends? Around you, or the working place, or people that are around you. This choice is yours today. You can choose whether you're going to bear the good food to the kingdom, or to go bear the bad food to the kingdom. This choice is yours. Amen. You are still going, number 19 now. I don't explain it, I just explain it. I'll go to 19. Every tree that beareth not forth good fruit is end down and caught into the fire. Amen. He would go not cut us down in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray today to God to give us that power, that zeal, to bear good fruit to his kingdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. To God to help us, you know, that we have bearing bad fruits to his kingdom. But today, God will change us so that we can be able to bear good fruit to his kingdom today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Say, therefore, by their fruit, ye shall know them. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I love our mommy uh, preaching. He always says, say, when this or when you do, See, when you ask of God, when I say, do this in men or group, we have any, any house of God, we have group, we have children group, we have men group, we have uh, 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 women group, and uh, also youth group. You see, anyone you see that always, always kick against the things of God, say, mark them. Amen. Because we talk about love. That unit we have, say, because of Christ, even though you don't want to do that thing, say, because of Christ, I will abide. Amen. Because if you are abide, you are bearing what? Good fruits. When you are bad, what are they going to do? The answer of God. You see, there is, is something that will promote to promote the kingdom of God to go forward. Say abide. Amen. Not kicking against the things of God. Amen. So you are the one, you are the one that kicking against the things when I say let's put on white flour. Now this say I'll put on yellow. Please check yourself. Amen. Check yourself. Uh, this lady is going out today. If you come across this message today, please come and listen and also change your way. What I like to know is if the things of God say abide, do what you do, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Say by the fruits, you will know them. The word they speak, you will know them. The way they talk, you will know. The way they behave, you will know them. The peace of God is not in or her. That love, that unit is not in or her. You are far. Amen. The peace of God, it, it seems that all this way that I don't like it because the peace of joy that, that God is giving to them is not there anymore. We need to pray for the peace of God in our soul. We need to pray that self control. In our soul, a world, a world can destroy, a world can also build. Amen. 
the word of your mouth can destroy, or the word of your mouth can also what? Be. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that when we open our mouth to speak something, let us use our teeth to cut it, we beat it out. So that we not offend our brother. Amen. Mm -hmm. When we do, God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. So we come, we're going to stand for our feet to pray. I have. Amen. Amen. I have God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. Change in my life. You don't see something 
and always is. You don't see everything that you see, you don't see the love. It may not say something bad again. You only see good words. You say something more change in your life. You don't have that peace, you don't have that joy. And uh, you say if you don't have all these things, they say nothing will change. Say, but you when you have this thing that you're mentioning today, say something will change in your life. And you will know that you are safe. Say you will know that you are safe. Say you will notice. Say you will be notice that you do not act the way you do before. Say you will you will feel in your heart and the way you do this now is not the way you do this last year. Something will tell you. You won't feel it. Nobody has said that before the way you react last year is not the way you react. He says you must your body will tell you that ah now change something more something that left me, something that renewed in my life. You are going to pray to my God today that when, when God renew you, when things are changed, you will feel it. You will know that things have changed in my life. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for the spirit of self-control. Amen. That spirit of self-control. So that we can able to overcome it. We are able to overcome that thing. That means we are thing to get angry. So God to help us to overcome the spirit of what? Self-control. Things you do before. Thank you, God, my people. But I want to know you about Let something change in my life. Let me see that something has changed in my life. Let something change your mind from God as I am and be like this.
Say every sickness will go away. Every disease will go away. Say God that hates you, put it upon them. Amen. Go to pray. Come we pray this prayer. Going to ask God for mercy. If you have been hating somebody before, but this prayer will not go out. You need to ask God for mercy to forgive you. You are not telling anyone your mind. Let him go for this prayer. Let him go. The grace to forgive those. You go. I want those who are hurting. But the mercy, Lord. Let God ask. Ask for mercy. Mercy, Lord. Ask for mercy, Lord. Let God pray for them. Let God ask mercy, Lord. Ask for mercy. Bless the fruit 
of your womb. Amen. Amen. For them, the fruit is here. As I don't know what you are crying for. I don't know what you are crying. But you want to have fun for them. Say, bam! Your faith will be worth for you. They will bless your womb. They will fruit of your womb. And the fruit of the land are come. The fruit of the land are come of the FPS. Sit in a prayer in a solution center. That you make the food of them. Are you praying for the food of the womb? You will receive the day in that name of Jesus. You are watching me today. You are going to pray for us today. No solution. What a food in your hands. Say, Father, we will pray the food in your hands. Say, please, Father, you can't see what you can't see what you can't see. Amen. Father, Lord, King of glory, may you begin to favor this ministry 
not move forward on your own. Father, Lord, may the diseases that kill him in this land, oh Lord, may you place his upon better. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we just say thank you. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' marvelous name, we have prayed. Amen. Abba, Father, who has been there, hello be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That we be done on earth. And see this here.